Speaking to County Island manager Mark Bentley for on today's 3-2 victory against St Ives. Mark, how are your nerves after that one? Uh, yeah, it's a win ugly as they say. Um, I think it was ugly at times. Um, but listen, it's an FA Cup. You win, you get through. It's all about getting through to the next round. Uh, should have done the job Saturday. And to be fair to them, they were a totally different side to what, what they showed us on Saturday. They played and they caused loads of problems. And to be fair, I've got to give a lot of credit to my goalkeeper tonight who kept us in the game. They are the level above us. Um, did they come out looking like what you was expecting them to come out like on Saturday? Um, yeah, I thought well, on a better surface, obviously the surface was spot on. You can't complain about the surface tonight and anyone would, any team would want to go and play on it. And yes, listen, we've got, we can't get away from the fact they're a league above us. Um, I think there's a lot of disappointed people Saturday who thought we should have won the game. I think we thought we should have won the game, but listen, they're a league above and they're, they're a good side. Um, and they showed that today. They had some real good movement and they had numerous chances. And, like I say, I'll go back to it. My goalkeeper was fantastic tonight. We went 1 0 up, then they equalised, and then we went 2 1 down. How important was it to dig deep, show a bit of character that in the past couple of weeks, after going five, losing 5 0 and 3 1 at Coggershaw, that character has been a little bit missing, maybe? Possibly, possibly. I think we showed a lot of character Saturday. Obviously, there's some more than a a le two levels above us like, and they can, they'll win this league probably at Canto if, if they play like they did so I sort of wiped that one out clear very very quickly Coggleshaw could have gone either way we could have drew 2-2 two -two. and then we had a nil-nil Saturday so um, yes at times we, listen we, we make seemingly silly errors and it's about being brave at times and that's all I keep trying to say to them just be brave you make mistakes who cares it's how you react to a mistake and try and play positive and we just get sucked in sometimes to you can just see us sort of like going into our shell a little bit um, and we've got to try and get out of that and just stay positive because like I say we've got threats going forward and defensively we need to be a little bit better at times. They got in so many times uh, been behind which has been happening quite a lot so we've got to work on that certainly in training but listen we're, we're through to the next round uh, we can put a smile we can forget about the FA Cup until after obviously the FA Trophy Saturday which can be another tough one and then look forward to Bowers week, week Saturday. So you made a change from Saturday, um, raised a couple of eyebrows with the fans, uh, taking out Toby Joseph and bringing in Kane. Was there a re tactical reason behind that or fitness reason? Fitness, yeah. He's, uh, Toby had a tight groin, um, didn't think he was fit enough to start and made it quite clear. Uh, I need 11 fit bodies out there, um, so obviously good enough for the bench. I thought he'd look fine when he come on and, and he, to be fair, he might have changed, had a little bit of an impact in the game. Um, listen, I need players who can roll their sleeves up and want to go through a little bit of pain. That's not a dig at Tobes, it's, it's everyone really and uh, maybe I'm a little bit old school and um, we we'll go through the pain barrier a little bit and I, I'm not trying to say my players are putting it on but they're, they're not at all. Um, but I just want, I need everyone and when I've got a, a fit 11 and a fit squad, I say I'm coming on tonight and I, I don't want to be coming on. Um, but I need everyone firing. Going back to the fitness, showing that we can cope for it for 120 minutes and possibly be pushed on a little bit better in extra time. Are you happy with the fitness levels that the boys showed? Yeah, definitely. I thought we looked a stronger team um, through extra time. Um, for someone like Hallett, he's done, like, he's done wonders again for us today. He held the ball up well, 33, and he's still like closing, shutting people down. George behind him. So, yeah, we, we've got we've, fitness levels are good. Um, obviously, when you, when you are struggling with tyres, you make a lot of mistakes. I thought we were much better uh, when we were a bit tired to be fair. FA Trophy at Welling Garden City on Saturday again another one's a little bit of an unknown entity to us any chance of maybe winning the game a little bit straightforward? No no <laughs> trust me now because I know the manager very well um, he's my vets manager um, and I know quite a few of the boys over there it will be a battle trust me now yeah it's going to be very difficult they're the same level as us started the season very well um, and we've got to try and recover as best we can I've, I've picked up another two possibly three injuries tonight so uh, we are proper bare bones at the moment and we need these boys back from injury very quickly um, but yeah Wellington City is going to be a very tough game. Nice and